So my fagi stay dimi Enza yungi ndonge peshini Esa mi style feshini So my fagi stay dimi Okay uh, Hey yo yo check it out Slozzy the MC in the house You know what it is It's off the hook You know it's episode 3 That's how we do I've got a Very creative Artist Human being Out here Can you please introduce yourself to the people Absolutely. First of all, hey Lozi, it's really good to see you. And it's good to see you without the crutch. The last <laughs> time boot. I saw you, you had, I had the moon boot. <laughs> yeah, it. I'm glad you're well. Um, yeah. My name is Tisho Ezekobu. I am an actor, filmmaker, and lover. Yay. <laughs> uh, you quite a lot of things. And uh, yo, we, we, we go quite way back. I was in Durban and... The time I came to your spot, it was quite a dope. I feel your place had peace when I went there. It was in Mass Grave. Uh, I went with uh, Ulex. And, uh, and um, yeah, so I, I have the experience of actually understanding you without even knowing you, just from viewing the space that I'm in. So um, how did you actually fall or interact with the current craft that you do in terms of performance? Um, I will get to that just now, but uh, it's interesting that you say that because I feel like you and I have been relating in spaces, but like passing each other yeah, and too many observing times. each other from a distance. You came to my homecoming ceremony when I came out of a Pithuin, mm. and that's special. And that's not the first time I've been to your uh, home. Yeah. Durban or Joburg, because that was in Joburg. Y- yes. So yes. that's really special. Thank you for coming. That was very... Yeah, we, we definitely appreciate your energy and, and inviting us there to your space. So um, how did I come into performance? Yes. Um, I always wanted to be a performer growing up. Um, as a child, I was performing at home <laughs> as the last born. Um, I always, and a Leo, I always wanted all the attention on me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I... I always thought that I was self-centered until I came to understand that, no, it's not self being self-centered. I have something to share and I want to explore it and give it to the world. Mm. Um, I came to explore that professionally um, in, uh, what was it, uh, 2005. Um, I'm a very shy person, uh, so I... Um, you don't come across as a shy person. I know. <laughs> apparently, I'm told, but I'm very shy. Um, I uh, went behind the scenes because I was too scared to become an actor. Mm. So uh, I wanted to study acting, but I was too afraid. And I went to study writing at AFTA. And um, in my first year there, I started hosting these um, screenings because I felt that there were not enough African films being taught in the curriculum. Mm -hmm. Uh, So um, I started hosting African film screenings with uh, African films, underground, art house films that you won't find anywhere. And I started hosting those... (sighs) My first night, I had like two people in the audience, mm. uh, and then someone advised. So people get people get despondent when they and when you start something, they'll see two people and be like, "This is not mm. going to work." And how did you actually have to have keep keep that faith and to like, "Yo, um, this is a step," and I might not see the whole staircase, mm. but I'm going to carry on. Um, actually, leading to my performance journey. Um, what I wanted to do was invite uh, filmmakers that were experienced uh, to come and speak. So we'd watch the film mm-hmm. and then have an experienced filmmaker have a Q&A uh, around the film. And I was, oh gosh, I, I was so ballsy when I was young. I missed <laughs> that. Um, Why don't you have it? How does, how does it go on? Uh, what makes that thing go away? I like, don't know. I've I have so much more self doubt than I had when I was younger. Um, when I was nineteen, I went to every production house. Like literally, I've just arrived in Joburg from Mnambiti. Yeah, Mnambiti. <laughs> <laughs> and 
I w- googled every production house, and because you like, just don't care, you like yeah. you know what? Even if they say no, I'm on to the yes. next one. On to yes. the next one. I, I I was like that, and I um, found some directors, and I was like, come to my screening, speak about this film, speak about this film. I'm doing African film screenings at AFTA. And the first director I had was Akin Motosho. Oh, shit. What a pre... Oh, oh my nigga. Mm. I love you, Akin. Um, so Akin came on and he said, I really like your vibe. Uh, I hated your script. I sent him a script. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he's like, you can't have a 300-page script. <laughs> So how many, how, 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 how long, people that know, how long should it be a script? Uh, a minute a page. So if it's, uh, a, a movie is like an hour and a half, so it's, uh, one hour 30. So it's a hundred and twenty. Yes. You guys hear that? I sent Akin a 300 page script and he mm. read it and he hated it. <laughs> uh, and he still said, I like your vibe. Um, I want you to act in my film. And I was like, no fucking way. I'm not going in front of the camera. Mm. And he's like, you're going to act in my film. That's amazing. And with, with, with the roles, how do you approach roles? Like when you are given a role, what is your first, how many tackle this? What's my modus operandi? Um, character is everything. So I, how I approach the work is, oh, Stella Adler said, uh, where is the love? Where is the love in this scene? Every scene, you must ask yourself, even if it's an audition scene, where is the love in this scene? Mm. So even if it's a scene and you and me are arguing and are saying, who finished the whiskey? Find love in it. Where is the love? Because that's the depth the only reason why I care about the whiskey, it's not about where is the whiskey. You could have other it's, attachments to it. It's because I love you and you took my whiskey. Or I love whiskey because I'm an alcoholic. Yes. And that's the love. So always find, find that love. Where is the love in the scene? And um, for me, that's always connected to where is the pain? Mm. and that's my approach to every role is what's wrong with this person? Like, <laughs> mm. uh, I had a friend in film school who used to say, mm. <laughs> so that's how I approach roles. <laughs> so what's wrong with this person? Where are they broken? Um, I um, started researching psychology a lot, didn't study it professionally, but as an actor, I took it upon myself to study psychology so that I can understand the human makeup mm-hmm. of what we are. And um, spirituality also plays into, a lot, into it a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, like, where is this person positioned energetically? Mm-hmm. And... Uh, so when I approach a role, it's never about the story first. In a Swan script, yes. it's about this character. This character existed before the occurrences of this movie and will exist after. And that's why I struggle with debriefing. I really struggle with debriefing mm. because I become that person and then it's hard for me to let them go. Oh, uh, that's... Thank you for the information for upcoming uh, writers and um, performers, as you heard. So, with um, who who influenced you in terms of, I'll say South African actors, um, and also internationally, which which actors have have actually played a big influence in your life, and also what movie? Oh, if you I... say top, like top one. <laughs> I will give you my top two. Top two is fine. I can deal with that. And they are both in uh, the same my movie. favorite movie. Okay, that's lovely. Oh, favorite. I can't say favorite. I have so many favorite movies. Um, oh, okay. Your best, the movie that you would One tell. off. One off, yeah. Let's, let's, one off, guys. You it see, I'm learning how to now ask these questions. <laughs> Not say favorite, one off. I was, I was very young. I must have been like nine and I watched Legend of the Fall. 
mm. Legends of the Fall, um, and Sir Anthony Hopkins and Brad Pitt changed my life, and it affirmed for me that that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. Sir Anthony Hopkins is amazing. Have you seen him in The Father? Mm. You must watch that movie. Yeah, yeah, I've watched. It. Oh my God! Uh, definitely my favorite. He actor. just has that thing. Like I mean, even Silence of the Lamb. I mean, oh. any, any 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 stuff with his name on it is like, and also Brad Pitt. Like for me, I'm a. I've watched Fight Club so many times. I, I don't even know my time. obsession with it, so I do understand. Like these 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 actors, you you definitely talking about that they do. I love Fight Club because I'm also a boxer. Yeah. Um. One thing you may not know about me. Um, I was almost tempted into professional boxing, uh, but my agent turned me away because I need my face. Yes. Uh, but my boxing trainer was like, you're ready. Mm. Let's go into the ring. I've got some girls you can fight. Uh, Oof. And my agent was like, no. No, no, so, no, no. Uzoba no. Mubi. <laughs> and, now, and then with, with South African uh, when I, actors, when I said like, or movie, uh, or even series, because back in the oh, days, you know, there was a series very movies. easy question. My favorite South African actor is Mutusi Makhano. Hands down. Mm-hmm. Fuck. What a man. What an actor. What an intelligent soul. He goes, and I think it's spiritual for him. It's spiritual. He is able to delve into worlds that none of us, none of us can perceive. Uh, Mutsusi Makhano, definitely. And I had the pleasure of um, having him. Uh, I was creative producer and he was on my show, Emoyeni. And for me, that's one of the greatest honors I'll ever have. Uh, greatest show? Yeah, show. Yeah, I, I guess show. Emoyeni. A movie? My show. Emoyeni. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> I killed it. Awe, awe, awe. Yo. Because uh, I, I don't see magical realism on screen and that's my favorite genre. Sure. And not fantasy, yes. not sci-fi, magical realism. Yes. And I did a magical realism show. That's and beautiful. that's the genre I'm going to continue in as a director. Thank you. Um, you know, I mean, I would have loved with time constraints of everything. Basically, we still, we're not going anywhere. Off the Hook is still going to be around as, the, uh, as a show. So we, we definitely appreciate your, po- your, your input in, in adding into the podcast. And you will definitely be getting more invites from, from us here at Off the Hook. And I know uh, you have time constraints, but I do understand this is a music show. Yes. Primarily. Yes, it, it it's it's music bias, but it's not a music show. It's music bias. Okay, I'll so say. I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Can I? Yeah, what are you sure. listening to at the moment? What I'm listening to, I listen to a lot of R and B. I'm a rapper, but I listen to R and B. So, um, I guess the last song, if I'd say I've played, well, I've been listening to quite an R and B. I would say I played Cleo Soul. Quite nice. Yeah, I played Cleo Soul, Thames too. Uh, with Quito, I've been playing Mendoza in oh, nine, 9 to 5. Respect. from Yeah, 9 to 5 Mendoza. So that's what I've been listening to respect. in the immediate effect. And what have you been listening to? Oh, gosh. I mean, my spiritual journey has like changed my relationship with music. So I used to listen to hip-hop, like underground hip-hop, a lot. Um, and then things changed and the landscape changed and I, I, I lost my footing with commercial rap. Okay. Um, I used to listen to most Def, Talib Kweli, uh, but there isn't much underground rap surfacing uh, nowadays. So for Zulumeka, who I love and respect a yeah, lot. Yeah. I love Zulumeka. Um, uh, shit. <laughs> Zulumeka was supposed to be on the podcast, by the way, but... I know. She's coming. She's, oh, do you want me to talk to her? I mean, I guess. <laughs> after, um, you I'll tell okay. you what I'm listening to. I know you yeah, got yes, time yes, constraints. Yes. Uh, like I was saying, spirituality has influenced my music choice a lot. So I'm listening to a lot of spiritual music. Uh, I'm a Hare Krishna devotee. So this morning when I woke up to come to you, I was listening to Nitai Gaura um, by Kirtan. And uh, then I play Tongolam by Busa Bendalo. So, and I don't like that. Like, I would like to be commercial again. Yeah, guys, get get with the music, yo. Uh, Tishu, where can they find you to, to wrap it up? Uh, my handles are Instagram at Tishiwe 
and on Twitter at Tissue as it grow, but don't be tweeting nonsense. Please. Uh, guys, trans lives matter. Thank you. Oh, we- by the way, never got to say this, and I need to say this yeah. everywhere I go because people aren't getting it. I'm a trans man, pronouns he, him. Yeah. <laughs> Okay.